Today, dozens of people learned firsthand what it's like to cross a busy road without being able to see it. West News' Matt Lapoli explains it was done as a visual plea to drivers to be more vigilant for people who are vulnerable. For many years now, Orlando and the greater central Florida region around it has been designated one of the least pedestrian-friendly regions in the country. So for people who can't see, our crosswalks can feel all the more foreboding. Um, I walk from the gym over on Orange and Michigan uh, every morning after work. Kelly Stivers can't see. She tells us every time she crosses Orange Avenue, she's worried. Even though the walk sign is lit and even though the light is red, they, you know, they just continue to turn and they really don't look out for us. It's like they have to get there before we do. And I've almost been hit about three times over the past six months. Kelly's one of several dozen people who crossed Orange Avenue Friday morning, all of them hoping they'd be seen so a message can be heard. We can't see you, we can hear you, but you can see us. If you're driving, you need to, to yield to us. Sheila Young is the president of the Greater Orlando Council of the Blind. Together this crossing for a group of people who are impaired and invited some who were sighted to walk too under a blindfold. Okay. Exposure. Among them, City Commissioner Robert Stewart. More importantly, oh, are we moving? We're going to cross commission. Here we go. It takes a great deal of understanding, learning, and a great deal of patience. In Florida, anyone with a white cane or a guide dog always has the right of way. That's the law, but it's not always followed. This crowd hopes people driving will have a new perspective next time they see that. I, I wish the public would understand that every pedestrian has a right to cross the street safely. Matt Lapoli reporting West 2 News. This event was supported by the organizations Lighthouse Central Florida and Bike Walk Central Florida to recognize National Blind Americans Equality Day.